Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video at Morehead Homestead. This is Bo, and uh, we're going to share a little secret today of what we found out um, helps us retain our chicken numbers, our turkey numbers, and everything like that here on the farm. Uh, we think it's it, it's been working out pretty well. Uh, we didn't really think about it at first, and we just kind of put two and two together and uh, figured out, you know, this got a pretty good uh, reasoning behind it. So I uh, hope you stay tuned in this video. I'm going to do a few chores here. The animals want to get their camera time, and then we'll come back and I'll uh, share a secret with you that we found out here in the homestead. All right, guys, let's go. Our roost weight is looking good. It's good and fat. But, uh, but Eeyore, on the other hand, he is still lacking a little. He's starting to put the weight on, but as you guys know, we had a, a February 22nd butcher date for him uh, so it's about a month and a half away right now and it's not happening so I think so yeah the February 22nd date for for Eeyore here it's probably not gonna happen so what I'm gonna do the butcher place is just literally a half mile down the road one of these days uh, when I get a day off or I may call up there in the next couple days and I'm gonna hit them up and see if they got anyone that um, is ready now we'll be ready February 22nd that maybe has a date in April or May uh, somewhere in that time frame and uh, see if they want to do a little swapping see if I can swap a date out so that we can keep Ruth on the farm because we really don't want to send her to the butcher she's such a nice cow we want to breed her and uh, get some calves out of her she's really friendly the kids can come in here and pet all over you see me pet her every day so we don't really want to butcher her so we're going to try to swap some dates, and if that can happen, uh, it's part of life. Uh, Ruth's going to have to go so we don't miss that date because, as you guys know, here in Oklahoma, and I'm, I'm sure all across the U.S., to get a, a date for the butcher for beef is normally a year and a half, two years out. We was able to get it pretty quick because uh, they just opened up down the road, and I got in quick. So hopefully... We can swap some dates out for Eeyore here and keep Ruth here to breed, uh, but only time will tell. So, Now, another thing I was going to talk to you about um, are some goals that we have uh, more at home said uh, this year for YouTube and what defines success and failure. Uh, easy, Thorsky. So, uh, in my mind, if you have goals set and you're, and you're striving every day to attain those goals, no matter how big or how small they are, um, that's a success. You're being successful in life. Um, so we're going to spend every day at Morehead Homestead this year um, striving and reaching for those goals that we have set. Uh, I think they're very attainable. We didn't uh, get these lofty, unrealistic goals. I think everything that we set forth uh, as far as YouTube-wise, these goals, uh, they're, they're definitely attainable. Uh, it's going to take hard work and dedication, and uh, but I think they'll pay off. Easy, Thor. Don't hit that tripod, buddy. Come here, buddy. So, uh, number one, uh, we want to try to hit 20,000 subs this year. We're at 11.5 right now, so uh, we did that in roughly a year. So, th that is definitely attainable. Um, we need about 9,000, 8,500 more to go. Uh, and it's just January 4th, 3rd, whatever it is. So, that's definitely attainable. Um, also, this year, we would like to try to hit 150 plus uploads this year um, that's about every other day that's going to take a lot of work we both have full-time jobs um, on top of YouTube so that's going to take a lot of work but 
it is attainable. So we're just going to have to, uh, you know, put our heads down and, and turn on. So that's a couple goals that we got uh, this year to try to reach. Uh, definitely attainable. Uh, we can do it with a lot of hard work and dedication. But uh, we're going to ask for your guys' help also. If you guys know anyone that may like our channel, uh, share it with them. Please do. We would appreciate it. We, we don't mind at all. So uh, share this video with all your friends, family, loved ones. Share our channel on all social media platforms. Yeah, that's two goals. It's definitely attainable. And uh, we're going we're gonna to strive for them as hard as we can. And we hope you guys stick around for the journey. Now what I was going to talk to you about, the whole point of this video is uh, how do we keep our livestock how do we keep our chickens how do we keep our turkeys alive without predators getting them uh raccoons breaking in their pens hawks uh coyotes all those predators are in this area how do we keep our chickens safe and i think by far the number one reason one It's Thor. Thor, come here, bud. Come on, bud. Sit. Good boy. So Thor is by far the best dog we've had ever. We've had quite a few dogs. He really is, I mean, his temperament, everything about him, he is just, he is just the best dog we've had. So uh, a lot of the, the, uh, success goes to him and we put okay we got our chicken pen back behind us i'll show you here in a minute we got our chickens in there our turkeys in there and um around it we have our goat pen that we have a couple goats we got uh two cows in here and we got thor okay so we're able to let the chickens out and roam in this fenced in area with thor in here uh so during the day uh he's here to protect them and at night they're back in and no coons come in, no uh, coyotes, no nothing tries getting in to get into their pen because Thor's here. So I think there's two two uh, aspects to this that uh, our success would be Thor and the pen around the pen. So if you guys have access um, to put a little chicken coop in with your uh, goats or something like that, that you have the perimeter fixed and you have a sheepdog in there, a livestock guardian dog like we got Thor right here, um, I think it will help you tremendously. Now, he has to be good with chickens. Thor, he doesn't chase chickens. He doesn't chase our animals. He does really well. Like I said, he's the best dog we've ever had by far. So uh, that is, uh, I think, the two main reasons we haven't lost any chickens. And uh, I'll kind of show you our, our setup here we got here and uh, kind of our perimeter fencing. It's not a, it's not a large area by any means. Uh, it's probably a one acre pen that we have so uh, definitely doable for most homesteads uh, most homesteads probably got more than uh, land than we have here we just have five acres uh, and we try to make the best of it we don't want to fence off our whole property uh, we like the yard you know if you've seen of our videos we like out playing football with the kids and playing games with the kids so we like a yard for that and we got this certain area here for our animals but uh, I'll show you what we got going so we just got a quarter post here. We got a fence that runs up there. And this is just a standard field fencing, okay? Let me focus here. See that float system is working perfect. Keeps that water perfectly level right there. Love it. Don't know why I didn't invest in one before, but I'm so thankful Mr. Abro 42 sent that to us, and uh, that's just awesome. So we got this fence runs along here. By the way, those 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 aren't from Thor. Um, he doesn't do any digging like this. This is from Layla when we had her. She was trying to dig him out. So this fence goes this fence goes all the way down this side so we've got woods here that uh if any predators were to come in obviously they'd come in from this way but thor does thor does a really good job at keeping everything out that ain't supposed to be out 
including Layla. When we had her, she tried getting in here um, through this gate right here. And Thor kept her from coming in. So here's the, uh, the coop we got here. It's a uh, 24... It's 24 by 24 by 6, I believe is what it is. Maybe 6 and a half. Uh, got a nice size door here. So we'll just open the door and we'll let them out. And they'll just hang out in this area with Thor and the goats and the, the cows. And then uh, when it's time, what's up, buddy? And then when it's time, we'll just let them back in here. But uh, our numbers stay strong. Alright guys, this is a really short video. Uh, I was just in there thinking about it and I thought, you know, some people might want to, to know this. Some people might want to try this. So uh, I thought I'd come out here real quick before work and make this video. If you like this video, please smash that like button. And also, if you have subscribed to our channel yet at Morgan Homestead, please subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single upload. I hope uh, you guys have the ability to try this because it has been really successful for us in keeping our poultry, our chickens, our turkeys, our goats, our cattle alive. Um, I think number one on the homestead, if you got any kind of animals, a livestock start guardian, guardian dog is definitely a must have. So uh, the ones of you that have one, you guys would definitely agree with me, but uh, if you don't, I would definitely invest in one. All right, guys, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Till next time, God bless.